How's it going everyone? Maryland here, and now I'm gonna check out Route 6. I meant to do this in the last episode, in fact I actually originally did, I just ended up splitting it because there was a lot to Route 6, uh, the part I didn't explore. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to that, and enjoy! Alright, now the ever-pressing question is, what on earth are down these paths? Presumably this is going to lead to Route 6, but can I go through here? Oh, now I can go through here. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and do so. Centred. Well, cool. Alright, let's see... I do kind of want the Centred. Darn it. Darn it! Critical hit. Ah! Oh well. Okay, so let's just go through here and get some stuff. Route 6, huh? Finally get to go through it. What is this? Is that someone in there? Yeah, there's someone in there. This tall grass is taller than I am! You're telling me where there are Pokemon lurking in here? Oh my goodness, there's a guy in there. He's got a Fletchling. No worries, I've got Frogadier. Hmm, level 14, not too shabby. Let's use some Water Pulse. Alright, good fight. Alright, what else do we have around here? This grass is just so darn tall. I can't tell if I'm missing anything or not. I mean, I guess I'll follow the path more or less, but... Huh. Oh, there's another Sentret! Alright, Sentret, you're mine. Perfect. Battle of the quick attacks. Okay, let's go ahead and... Try to catch this thing in one of my many Pokeballs here. Piece of cake. Got it. Alright, what does this Pokedex have to say about you, Sentret? The scout Pokemon, when acting as a lookout, it warns others of danger by screeching and hitting the tail with its or hitting the ground with its tail. Okay. Alright, that'd be good. Oh my. I'm determined to see everything Kalos has to offer. Come on, bring out your Pokemon. Don't mind if I do. Tourist Mari. Oh, she has an ill me say, huh? That's so awesome, 3D. Um, let's go ahead and use Water Pulse. Wow. I still don't get the point of that Play Nice attack. Oh well. Oh yeah, Quackling level 22, Combuskin level 22. Cool. Yeah, quite cool. Of course, they're both technically traded Pokemon, so... Actually, I have to remember, they will stop obeying me at level 30. Ordish! I love how they changed Oddish's cry. Um, Quick Attack might actually do enough to knock it out. I'm gonna go for Water Pulse. Hopefully it won't. Yeah, that's fine. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Alright, well. Let's try to catch the Ordish! Whoa! Alright, well, you don't want to have any of that. Hmm. Absorb. That does not make my life easy here. So you know what? I'm just going to switch 
for Quacklin. That sounds so funny, sweet son. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's use some false swipe here. Since that thing's no longer confused, obviously. Okay, you will be mine, Oddish. Oh yeah, Oddish was caught. And Ivysaur reached level 18, cool. Okay, so what does this have to say about ya? During the day, it stays in the cold underground to avoid the sun. It grows by bathing in moonlight. Hmm. Alright, now... Ooh, that's right. What is that item and why can't I get to it? Ah! Ordish. Alright, you know, I should really be leading with, um... Should really be leading with Quacklin here, simply because he has um, False Swipe, of course. Always good to have your False Swipe Pokemon kind of around. All right, what is this thing? TM9 Venoshock. Cool. All right, so let's take a look here. Venoshock, huh? 65 power, darn it. Alright, 65 power. Ivysaur can learn it. Well, that's pretty good then. Oops, darn it. Oh, I should have kept poison powered. Poison powder, that would have been good. Well, 65 power, that's pretty nice. Uh, it'll hit harder than Vine Whip will, by a long shot. I'm gonna get rid of Tackle because I already have Vine Whip. And I don't really think I'll need Tackle. I have two attacking moves now. Well, that's pretty decent then. Oops. Okay, so. And Protect. You know, obviously everyone can use that. Alright, I'm so glad to finally have that thing. But I feel like there's so much more that can be found in here. Both Pokemon-wise and even item-wise. Whoa! It's a sword! Alright, um, yeah, there's that Hone Edge thing. Surprisingly, this thing has a gender. Wouldn't really think swords... Oh, that's right, it's ghost type. Come to think of it. Ghost Steel, I can't even... Oh, man. Alright, it's no problem. Let's see. So, knockoff won't do... Oh, yeah, it will. Oh, that's right, because Steel no longer resists Dark. Oops. <laughs> that's right. That's kind of cool to actually show, though. Steel no longer resists Dark or Ghost. In Generation 6. So, I don't know. Huh. Oh, well. I don't want to get that Hone Edge. That thing's awesome. Ghost Steel, I could use that. Whoa, Ninkata! Alright, well, I'll try to catch this thing. Harden, okay, no problem. All right, now let's try catch this thing. Oh, what? I'm just gonna break out just like that? Well, that's disrespectful. All right, come on. Gotcha. All right, Ninkata is mine. You know, 
I do kind of like gaining experience when you catch a Pokemon. That's kind of cool. All right, because it lived almost entirely underground, it is nearly blind. It uses its antennae instead. Okay, well, that's fine. At least it's not totally blind, I guess? Hmm. Never really thought of that. Never really thought, like, oh my goodness, there's a trainer in there. Today is the day that I begin my path to becoming the champion. I'll start things off by defeating you. Wow, someone's full of themselves. Let's put this youngster Jacob in his place. He's got Krogunk, which looks really awesome 3D like that. Oh yeah. He's got anticipation, alright. They're gonna get an aerial ace to the face. Boom! And a bee drill. whoa. Alright, I could use you, but I actually want to try out Fletchinder here. I haven't used him in a while. Alright, let's go with Ember. Oh, you're gonna get burned! Haha! <laughs> yeah! Alright, well, I'll use Ember again. Sweet! Alright, level 21, that's nice. Got a whole ton of experience for beating that thing. Enough for Ralts to get to level 16, and, well, that's it, but... Hmm, maybe I should start tomorrow. Yeah, I just start tomorrow. Alright, let's see. Oh, here we go. A Paralyzed Heal. Let's... Okay. I thought I saw something move around here. Ordish! Alright, I'm just gonna run. Let's see, what else is around here? And there's these paths, but... It's not really clear where they go. I mean, this thing led to that Paralyze Heal? What's over there? I'm so curious now. This grass is so darn tall. And there's a ton of Ardish in here. Anything? Huh, apparently not. Yeah, there's a ton of Oddish. Okay, well, there's nothing waiting for me back in this little area. actually seems like the battles themselves takes a lot less time. Think you're gonna beat a man at the peak of his happiness? Think again! Well, there's something. Wow, this guy is super happy. He's got a Volby. He doesn't look so happy, though. Alright, well, let's do a little bit of that old aerial ace. Oh, yeah. And that's that. <laughs> a little defeat like this won't get me down. I'm on my honeymoon after all. Well, good for you. Now, why are you in this tall grass when you're on your honeymoon? Hmm. All right, let's see. Well, it looks like that's everything there is more or less to do here. No, there's probably more. And this is just on one side, too. Oh my goodness. I keep forgetting how much stuff there is around here, huh? See, this route is so much larger than it was at first glance. Oh my goodness. 
All right, so that leads me back. I already fought that guy. Just trying to make sure I don't forget anything. Like this X speed. It'd be a travesty if I forgot that. All right, so I have that. Fought you. Yeah, I guess I'm good on this side, more or less. Except I need that hone edge. That's the thing I'm missing here. Can't even use false swipe against it. It's a ghost. Whoa! It's an Esper! It's so cute! Oh, I gotta get one of those. Alright. Now, Esper, they evolve into Meowstic, which is a cool psychic cat thing. But its appearance, and I guess its moves, change based on which gender it is. So this male one, it'll end up being a different looking one than the female one. But apparently learns different moves as well, so... All right, well, I got Esper, and I kind of really want to use it. Like, really. Like, see a Ralts. <laughs> the organ that emits its intense psychic power is sheltered by its ears to keep power from leaking out. Hmm. All right, well, that's just that's perfect, of course. Oh, man, that's way better than Hone Edge. In my opinion. Oh, hi, Oddish. All right, well, I've probably seen everything there is on this side, other than that other hone edge that I want to find, because I knocked out that first one. So let's just, you know, kind of make my way over, and we'll check out that other side, hopefully. Yeah, it does seem like the battle stuff does go relatively quick. For being all 3D and everything. And it takes time, obviously, but not that much time. Alright, now... If I'm not mistaken, there should be, yeah, a path down this way. Oh my, looks like we got some trainers to fight. Um, let's go ahead and use... These two. Okay, well... Whoa! That is a big family! Oh, they got some fur fruit. Oh, they're all groomed. They look great. Alright, so... Unfortunately, I don't really have much in the way here. Um, actually, Slash is going to be slightly more effective. Water Pulse should do okay. But these things have that fur coat. They're bulky! Okay, um, we'll slash that one and then we'll use Water Pulse on the other one there. Oh, Not cool, man! All right, well, no problem. Let's just... Wow, it's pretty sad that Slash actually did more damage to that fur fruit Than Water Pulse. It isn't even affected by that fur coat. Why is Farfetch so good? Let's just get this over with. Man, I should have brought that Esper with me. It'd be gaining so many levels. Oh well, it's okay. I'll be able to train it. Ooh, Frogadier wants to learn round. Actually, I don't think it's that great right now. 60 power. No one else has round right now, so... 
Although it is stronger than Quick Attack. Well, you're pretty fast, Frogadier, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. I think you have higher special attack anyway. Man, look at that family. Wow, they gave me a lot of money. Of course, I am wearing the amulet coin right now. Alright, so... Actually, you know what? I want to try something here. I want to try that restore option. Let's see, what does this do? Yeah, just... Really? So it doesn't seem necessary to actually have an option on the menu here. Whatever, I'm down to one potion. Mm. Oh! Let's start a secret battle in the tall grass. Okay, let's. Whoa! Alright, Beauty Bridget. She's got an Esper. Little kitten thing. Alright, now this thing I do want to use knockoff on. Boom. Yay, Fletchinder. And a Butterfree. Now, I'm sure you'd be just fine for the job there, but let's give that to... I don't really want to keep using you, Fletchinder, but at the same time, I kind of want to put away my Combustion. All right, let's go for some Ember. All right, Rolfs wants to learn Lucky Chant. Eh, go to Growl, I guess. It's not really that I like Lucky Chant, I just, I don't know. I don't really like Growl. She has a baguette, a loaf of bread. That's so weird. Why is she carrying all that stuff? All right, um, let's see. So we got something over here. A super repel. Super. All right, and is there anything else, like at the end of this road? No? Huh. All right, what about down here? Got an awakening. I am awoken now! Alright, anything back here, huh? Now it's possible these two different patches of grass might have... Oh, there it is. They might have different Pokemon in them. Alright, so this one's male as well. If it were female, I'd catch it, even though I already have an Esper. Just so I would have access to both versions. Oh, Oddish, go away! I already have you! There you are. We meet again, Hone Edge! Alright, so I can't use Knock Off, but I can use Aerial Ace. Tackle? That's the best you have? Ooh, sword stance. Why does this not surprise me? Alright, no worries. Let's just go ahead and catch this thing in a Pokeball. Oh, or not? All right, let's try it again. Ah, you're kind of tricky to catch there. I'd rather not have to use a great ball against it. All right, got it. Got me a hone edge, sweet. Okay, so this thing... 
apparently it's born when a departed spirit inhabits a sword. It attaches itself to people and drinks their life force. Whoa. That sounds rather dire. Alright, so we got that. Feeling good about that. Definitely a cool Pokemon to pick up. Oh, Kecleon! Sweet. Alright, I want to catch this thing. It <laughs> scratched me with its tongue. That's so great. Oh, that's interesting. I think it said faint attack, not F A I N T. It was F E I N T. Huh. Perhaps they changed it. All right, well, I got Kecleon. Just getting a whole variety of Pokemon now. All right, Ivysaur wants Razor Leaf. Hey, that's pretty good, I think. 55 power versus 45. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, Kecleon. It can freely change its body's color. The zigzag pattern on its belly doesn't change, however. Hm. Alright, cool. Well, got a Kecleon. Feeling good about that. But what other wonders do we have on this side of Route 6? An Oddish, of course. Not even worth my time. Oh my, all right, so I gotta get up on that hill, I'm sure. Oddish, go away! Oops, darn it, all right. There we go, let's run. All right, so... I guess we could hop up there. Oh, there's a person! In this grass, it wants to fight me. And it's this guy, Roderick. He's got a bunnel bee. Well, no matter. All right, one slash and it should be over. Man, talk about culture shock. Yeah, I'd say. I was probably pretty rude to that guy. Alright, so there's an Ultra Ball here. There are so many items in this area. And so many Oddish! sick of seeing everything. Alright. It's like, I kind of want to use repels, but at the same time I really don't. Because there's so many Pokemon around. Alright, so looks like I've more or less seen everything here. I'll do one quick little look over. Esper! Alright, and this one is female, so I want to catch this, just so I'll be able to compare the two. Uh-oh. Quacklin's confused. Watch out, everyone. Yeah. All right, so we now have both a male and a female Esper. And a level 25 Farfetch'd. Who wants to learn Swords Dance? Aw, oh, heck yeah. Oh, this is tough. 
He's so useful with false swipe. Sword stance is nice. Well, you know, I can learn false swipe whenever, really, so... I'll just get rid of it for right now. Of course, for that matter, there's a TM for sword stance I could buy for 10,000 bucks. So it's not really a difficult decision. Alright, I'm not nicknaming you either. Sorry, sorry. Okay, um, so I think I took that path over there, right? This thing? Whoa, no I didn't, because I did not see that tree. Or this guy. Zoom, zoom, zoom! With my shorts on, I can run like the wind! He's got a venipede. But I got Quacklin, so it's all good. Alright, let's use some Aerial Ace. And a Scraggy. Oh my goodness, you'd actually be perfect there. But I'm going to use Fletchinder. Alright, Scraggy. Oh. Oh, that's another Pokemon you can find. Oh, where is it? Route 5, I think? You can find Scraggy there. Totally forgot about that. Okay. Um, right. So there's that guy. And then there's something over here. It's uh, an Agwav Berry. Why do I need this? I don't even know. Alright, so I'm going to use Fletchinder there. Especially since I don't have False Swipe anymore. Alright, what else we got going on over here? Ordish. Oh my goodness, what? Is that like a ramp or something? A ledge? Oh, there's an Enkeda. There really are a lot of Pokemon in this area, I'm not gonna lie. Whoops. Alright, let's see his run. And a lot of Oddish to go along with them. All right. Yeah, so I went that way, went through here. All right, I'm good, I'm good. All right, one final stop for Route 6 here. Let's hop down this ledge. Oops. Uh, well, we'll run through here. Oh, we meet again, Hone Edge. Oh, this time you're getting burned. Yeah! Okay, so, let's hop there. And now what do we do? Oh. Oh! Okay, now I see. Makes sense now. All right, so we're back on this part of Route 6 proper now. Uh, I definitely think that's a good place to call this episode an end. So I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon X Adventure. See you next time, Snorlax.